Hello and welcome to my first uh, Murders at Carla Manor draft. Today we're going to be drafting the new set. It's out. Uh, hopefully there aren't any issues with the draft process or things going down and then I have to like actually do work to put up the video. That's not, you know, we don't, we're not here to do work, right? That's not, uh, that's not what this is about. But uh, yeah, new set. New set, uh, always interesting. Always, always at a good time to draft, uh, to get into things, you know, obviously haven't been playing a ton of arena, but doing other stuff in the last month. Pal World came out, been doing a lot of that. You know, many people, many people, I'm sure, are well aware of the Pal World impact on things. Um, but yeah, so what I've heard about the new set so far, as you know, a lot of the same stuff you'll hear about any new set. People talking about uh, creatures and how they play out. I have, you know. Really, like, the, my biggest question is how real is playing, like, a 3-mana 2-2? Two -two? Um, we're getting, that remains to be seen, but, um, or, uh, we're, we're still, you know, we're just gonna, just gonna okay, well, I'm not taking Nib Mizzet, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna take Nib all right, this is the first draft, we're not gonna do it, we're gonna take the good card instead. Um, I think we're gonna just take the good card. I could take, so I think... There's actually some interesting options here. Um, Private Eye, I think, is the best card because it's probably in the best deck, which is blue-white, and my that's my, just my guess. Toxin Analysis reads really good to me. This card, I think, is very good as well. I like Auspicious Arrival, but I don't think you need to take it this highly. I think we're just going to, you know, get it started, take the Private Eye, take the good card and, the, you know, a good color pair, and then uh, follow it up. I think I'm going to take Fuss Bother next. Or this is Shock, too, although... To just take the private eye. This is a pretty good card, I think, too. It's a detective as well. But uh, I think I just want to take this card. It's very good. Ah, it's very good, and it's very flexible. I can play it in, like, blue. Like, any white deck, or I can play it in, like, blue-red. I don't think this card's very good. Um, I think it's between this and Shock, to be honest with you. The Projector Inspector's a good card, I believe. But I'm, I'm going to try out the... I haven't played with any of the split card. I mean, I haven't played with any of this set at all, so... <laughs> I uh, haven't played with any of this. Second Niv, so we're we're one draft, we're three packs in, and we've seen two Niv Mizzets. That's uh, you know, that's uh, certainly something. I'm gonna just take Cold Case Cracker here. Uh, you could take like Gamble, obviously not a very good card, and Limited. I think this card's okay. I'm a little concerned. I mean, we ever we already have curve issues, and it's like whatever. I think Mistway Spy is largely not great. It could be okay in the Detectives deck specifically. Fanatical Strength is a decent card. Um. All that. We're just gonna take Cold Case Cracker. I think it's decent. I don't like that big, the big 110. I'm not super excited about that. Uh, Inside Source is really good. Detective Maker, that is also like probably White's second best common. Uh, this guy again is okay. I'm not super thrilled about this. This is a detective payoff, but it's, it's like, you know, I mean, I don't know. Not not super interesting. Um, and we're just gonna take the take the good cards, right? I mean, I don't. So the the curve you'll notice is starting kind of on four. Oh, another inside source. That's nice. I think we're gonna take that over dramatic accusation or agency outfitter. I think agency outfitter is probably largely too slow, and it forces you to play bad cards in your deck, which I don't really want to do. Uh, but I think this removal spell is fine. I don't think it's as nearly as good as inside source, but I do think it's fine. You can play it, and uh, yeah, we'll just take another another good you know three a solid three. Uh, t maybe not necessarily where you want to be like starting your deck with, but it is harder to probably get a curve in this format. I don't. This card seems okay to me. Um, I don't think I want to play this ever. Uh, a lot of these Arbel Mavericks going around, and I kind of like this card, but not again, not with where I've started. On the job, I think I can get later. How much artifacting? How much artifacting are we doing? Not a lot of artifacting at the moment. Between this guy and on the job. On the job, probably a better card in my deck. Let's just take on the job. Uh, if we are, if I am locking in on detectives, which I think I have a pretty strong incentive to do, and we could try this guy out. We could, I mean, I can take it. I'm not, I'm not really taking it over anything here. I'm taking it over like vigilante, um, which I have some stuff that works with. Vigilante is good with like these, these guys. I'll take the agency outfitter, I and mean, we'll see. I, I don't think I'm gonna play it, but. Uh, Burden of Proof seems really good in my in this deck. I also think Fairy Snoop's okay. Um, this is, you know, 
buffs your detectives, can nerf your opponent's creatures. This is also a detective, which I kind of like, but uh, I'm just going to take the that spell. And then there's Auspicious Arrival. I think this is a really good card. I don't hate Unauthorized Exit necessarily, but I think Auspicious Arrival's better. Toxin Analysis on the wheel, too. A couple of decent, like, trick-related elements here. Um... But, you know, obviously not, not the curve start that I want, right? You know, I do want two drops. Uh, <laughs> not sure about this guy, but uh, we'll see. I, I'm sort of like right now I'm a little bit more of a mid-rangey detectives. And, and on the job actually is maybe a card that could see play in that style of deck. I'm going to take this guy. He's a detective. I know Magnifying Glass works with, works with Agency Outfitter, and I think Due Diligence is pretty good. But this just being a detective that works with other detective stuff I think is probably worth worth taking here um we'll see that that's that's a pick that i think in uh, a week i'm gonna i'm gonna know whether or not i i like that but uh for now we we, uh, we have to live in the ooh, okay so now i have the option between one of these two cards that i'm not super high on i think uh wow tough tough call i'm gonna take the mystery spy because it's a, like a cheap detective and then i'm gonna take this thing which is a detective payoff. And I have Curious Inquiry. I don't think we're playing Curious Inquiry, but I do think it's, a, like, legal to put in your deck. Oh, that's a Dog Walker? Yeah, we're going to just take that. Uh, I know this looks like a red-white card, but you can just play this as a, um, a mono-white card that makes two tokens. Now, it doesn't make any citizen detectives, sorry. But I think that's still better than either of these, or Essence of Antiquity. This is just a wield, so I'd be shocked if it didn't wheel. The Uneaten Feast, I think, is too much work. So I'm going to just take this card. Um, not being able to cast it on two is somewhat unfortunate, but I think we're going to just live with that. Um, we're just going to have to live with the fact that we can't always cast our spells on turn two. This is just going to sort of be more of a three into a four drop, uh, which does incentivize me to have more cheap plays. I don't think I'm playing this Curious Inquiry, by the way. It's just, like, sitting in the deck just to pay um, homage to its existence. Oh, we're going to figure out a way to cast this. <laughs> this card is super messed up. Uh, makes It's a 5-mana 3-2 lifelink that makes a 5-5 five, five when it enters the battlefield. Yeah, we're, we're going to figure out a way to cast this guy. How am I going to go about doing that? Uh, great question. But... We are... And I'm not taking it really over anything. I'm taking it over, like, fuss another fuss and bother. So we're just going to take the Tulsimir. And this is a thing. This is a thing. This guy's another sort of, like... Oh, there's a makeshift binding. I'm just going to take makeshift binding. It's removal. It's early in the format. The case file auditor is okay, but I kind of need the makeshift binding to make this card work. It's because it only fetches enchantments. The gadget technician might actually be, like, the right pick here, but I'm going to just take the binding. It's good removal that, you know, gains you life, so I'm just going to take the binding. Uh, and, oh, wow. All right, I think... Oh, what do I do here? Oh, what do we do here? This is a nightmare. So there's Perimeter Enforcer, which is a detective with flying and lifelink, but there's also Novice Inspector, which is just Thraven Inspector. <laughs> I am going to take the Novice Inspector, partially because I think one of these cards, like, could wheel, and also partially because I think it might be a better card, like, straight up. So, it's a bit of an early statement here on my, my takes of the format, but... Oh, wow, this is another just crazy decision here. I think I'm going to take Inside Source. Out Cold seems good, Dog Walker seems good, but I think Inside Source making a detective is better than the Dog Walker, despite the fact that I have a bunch of three drops already. Um, just the fact that it makes a detective, I think, does bump it up over the, the, the Dog Walker here. Um, and then we're going to take Market Oh, nope, just kidding. <laughs> I was going to take Market Watch Phantom until I read all of the rest of the cards in the pack, and then I saw that there was a Novice Inspector in the pack, and then decided that that was probably what I was going to be doing um, instead. Uh, I guess this guy... I mean, I do have a bunch of stuff that's power two or less. Um, so there is that, but... I mean, I don't think I love this thing. So, I mean, like, it's it's that or, like, this one of these green cards. I still want to figure out a way to cast this Tulsimir, but I don't know how we're going to get there. Uh, people have said they like Candlestick. 
I don't have any reason to not take it. I mean, this card's not very good. We can try out the candlestick. It is a cheap play that I can put on my, like, novice inspectors and stuff. It's not horrible. This isn't really, like, a... Whatever. I don't think I'm ever solving this is the problem. This case, I think it's pretty bad. How many detectives are we at? Seven? Uh, that's not... That's not zero. It's a non-zero number of detectives. Alright, so now I think I want... <sighs> this is tough, because... I can either take this, which flips up on turn four, like... <sighs> hmm. I think I'm going to take the Inspector. This is this is difficult. I, I don't know about that pick. We'll, we'll come to see that later. Uh, I kind of like Repulsive Mutation. This card's really good, I think. Uh, I guess I'll take this, though, because it's more castable. Probably not going to play it. I'm not playing any of these. I'm not playing second on the job. I don't even know if I'm playing the first one. It would be. It does look like it's pretty good in this deck. I have three inside sources. I have Dog Walker. Oh, the Perimeter Enforcer came back. Oh, baby. I thought that it might. I thought that it might come back, and it, that it did. And that it did. Um, Shard's okay. I don't think we're going to play black, though, so... Unfortunate. This. I'm going to just take the deuce. Is that, is that crazy? I mean, this is... Not necess this isn't really an aggro deck. Like, my deck is kind of just mid-range value. I don't have a ton of ways to interact, but that's okay. Um, this is okay. This might wheel, and I I do like... The Jaded Analyst is not... I think I want to take the deuce. I think the deuce is probably where we want to be here with this pack. Not that I'm super thrilled. I mean, there's Galvanize, too. I don't think I can cast it. So I'm going to just take the deuce and move on. So there's this guy. I'm gonna just take Market Watch Phantom over this. Oh no, I think the Unicorn's just better than Market Watch Phantom, right? This gets bigger. Yeah, I think this is just straight up better than Market Watch Phantom. Yes, this gains flying. Um, but this just gets bigger. So I'm gonna just take this guy. Oh, you're a detective though. Actually, in the in the so how much detectiving? Like I care about detectives with private eye. I care about it for Projector Inspector. Um, I technically care about it. Like, that that's probably not enough, actually. I don't think that's... I think that's not enough for me to want to play the Market Watch Phantom over the Guardian. I decided... Oh, okay. Surveillance Monitor. I think is pretty good. What else would I take? Not nearly anything. I'll just take it. It's a detective and also, like, makes stuff in the late game. Gotta be Novice Inspector. I don't really think... Like, there's Lost in the Maze. This card is fine, but I think... Let's take the good cards. Um, wow, this is late for this card, but it is also late for a Novice Inspector, so we're just going to take it. I mean, this Argus Cost is really good, um, but I don't know how I'm casting even my Tulsimir. I may just put it in the sideboard. We'll see. I'm probably not going to. Oh, this card is really good in my deck. This card is really good in my deck. So this card... I'm going to put the case in the sideboard, I think. Although... Hold on. So I do have, like, 12 detectives. You need a lot of detectives for this, though. Do I want a surveillance monitor, or do I want a behind the mask? Because I literally have, like, no interaction at all on the entire deck. Like, literally, like, one piece of interaction. Ah, give me the surveillance monitor. Oh, another binding. Okay, well, perfect. That solves some of our problems. So, Tulsimir is very good. However, hmm. I actually think I want Investigators over Jaded Analyst in this deck. Jaded Analyst, yeah, Jaded Analyst I think is pretty bad. Not Jaded Investigators, although there is another one that could come back. I'm not playing this. Um, hmm. I'm not playing this either. I'm not playing this. It's just not happening. None of those things are happening. I'm probably, I probably shouldn't play this, but... 12 detectives. Should I play Dog Walker? This is nice that it came back. Nice little two drop. We'll take that. Take a two drop. And then. I mean, I'm going to play Tulsimir, I think. The problem is, I have to play like three green sources for it. It's probably worth doing that. I mean, it is a, a more expensive play. Another 
investigators. I think I want over behind the mask. I think the investigators are actually going to be pretty decent. Um, this also seems okay too. Oh uh, well, I've I've chosen. I've made my choice. Oh, I got one of each. So now I can choose. This is good. See, this is a, a classic early in the format problem where it's just I have so many cards. I probably shouldn't be playing this Tulsimir. I don't think I'm going to play Dog Walker. As good as Dog Walker is. I think the fact that Dogwalker doesn't make detectives might be enough for me not to play it. I don't need to play this. I mean, on the job, like, seems super good with three inside source. Three inside sources. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna. Uh, but it would be so funny if I if I actually made this thing work. I have 48 cards. <laughs> I am gonna play fuss and bother for sure. Which of these like expensive? guys do I not want to play? Do I not want to play Surveillance Monitor? I mean, it's pretty good with Projector Inspector. Like, you just, like, surveil, like, you just discard a card, and then Surveillance Monitor on four, and then you get to collect evidence. I do need more expensive stuff for it to collect the evidence. I'm gonna put Dog Walker on the sideboard. Okay, we're down to 47 cards. That's good. That's a good number of cards to be on. I think I think, I'm just, I mean, Case of the Pilfer Proof, it's gotta be so bad, right? Like, it has to just be terrible. Statues of the Battlefield, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just putting this in the sideboard. I think even in this deck, I think even in this deck with 14 detectives, I think it's still bad. And I'm not even gonna have that many detectives when the deck's built. Okay, all these two mana spells are locked in. I'm not cutting them. Uh, we're gonna cut on the job, because I don't think I need it. I think I'm just gonna cut, like, one of each of these. Uh, Fuss and... Yeah, because I don't need this effect when I have Fuss and Bother, I think. I think that's unwise. I mean, look, the responsible thing to do would just be to cut this Tulsa Mirror and make my mana base, like, really good. Alright, let's just do it. <laughs> I mean, a splashing off of three sources is just not necessary when you have four Novice Inspectors, right? That just doesn't sound like a thing that I need to do to win games. Uh... And then I think I'm going to put this in the sideboard, and then... We just cut the other five drop? Is that where we're at? Maybe I cut one of these guys? So I have how many threes? I have... Three. This cold case cracker could be bad, too. I kind of want to try it, though. Um, hmm. So you work on power two or less, which works with inside source. Oh, this card is just so good in my deck because of these inside sources. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play one Projector Inspector. The problem is that makes my Surveillance Monitors worse, which does concern me, but I have Deduce. Maybe I shouldn't be playing Deduce. It is two mana. Like, I kind of don't want to be cutting two mana spells, although I do have four Novice Inspectors, so that gives me something to do on two. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. You know what? Hold on. Maybe we just maybe we just go all in. Maybe we go all in and we say deduce. I mean I think deduce is a good card. But I do have so how many detective payoffs do I have? This becomes a second detective payoff, and then I'm just looting every time I play a creature. There's Twelve detectives now. I'm keeping this vigilante in. Like, is is this better than deduce? I guess is kind of my question. That's a good question. I mean dog walker might even be better than this thing. The problem is Dog Walker. Dog Walker's like just a good card, isn't it? I think I kind of want to do. All right, give me this. Give me to do instead of that guy. He's a five drop. We don't care about five drops here. No five drops. That's a later in the format problem. And then, so I mean, this is technically like a five and six drop, but it's also like not. Um. Hmm. <laughs> so I have a bunch of like clues. Does that do anything for me? No. Alright, we'll see how this we'll see how this looks. You know what? We're gonna see how it looks. And uh yeah. Alright. And so it begins. The new format. The first the, the shocking the shocking twist. I'm dra I drafted the, the, the deck that I thought was the best deck in the format my first draft. Now the question is, will that will that hold up? Now I'm in gold right now. Um, time to get smashed, despite being, you know, used to higher standards. Ooh, what, a, what an opener. What an opener it is. It's a good day to be me. 
Unfortunately, this doesn't quite work. I have, like, almost zero disguised creatures in my deck, which I think is probably a good thing. Uh, um, turn one. Oh, man. I was like, only thing this hand is missing is, like, a makeshift binding, and then there we, there we, <laughs> there we have it. And there we have it. All right, we got a two-drop over there. Any two drops from the opponent? That is a two drop. Suppose I'll attack because a they're not blocking. I mean, I don't have to. Like, I can be the control deck in this game if I want to. Um, for several reasons, but the primary reason is that they uh, mulliganed face down card. Yep, that is a face down card. Sure is. Um, so now what do we do? I think I'm just going to play Projector Inspector. Could also play Novice Inspector plus Deduce. I mean, Novice Inspector is pretty good because, yeah, I could just go Novice Inspector and then draw a card even. Well, hmm. this guy loots away stuff. And then it also triggers my later things. All right, I'll just play the inspector. I'll just play this guy. I will take that uh, action. Loot away. Island here. I don't love this. So the re the primary reason I did this is that I have the novice inspector to trigger the neighborhood guardian and the inspector. It doesn't line up super well in the current board state, as you can see. Clearly demonstrated. But I do think I'm going to be drawing eight or nine cards. You know, I have three... I have, like, four draws, right? I have Novice Inspector, I have, the in I have this clue, I have another clue coming, I have another clue coming, and a card draw on top of that, so... I have a lot of ways to see stuff in my deck. So that is something to keep my eye on. And I think next turn... We're I mean, it's a little awkward to play the Novice Inspector next turn. I might just hold it to deuce. But if they let me have good attacks, I guess if they if they leave up face down card flip, I kind of have to just give them credit for anything at all. Oh, they're going to flip Granite Witness. Sure. That's kind of annoying. They have not tapped or untapped it. So that's, you know, happy for them. Um... I'm going to play this land because I definitely want to play it. I think we're just going to go off here. We're just going to... We're just going to loot. We're going to do some looting. How to do this can go. I don't need that. I'll take another card. I'll loot that away. Do this. That's a lot of triggers, huh? Uh, target creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. I suppose that would be. I think I actually didn't know it was target creature. I thought it was only this one. It doesn't really change anything. I think it's still supposed to get the counter or the. I'll draw a card. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to discard novice inspector as crazy as that sounds. Because I don't really need another one. An inside source is definitely better in this spot. They're going to block with their 2-1 for sure. They're going to go 16. Maybe I should have... I don't think I was supposed to discard makeshift binding. That seems bad. Um, Alright, buy makeshift binding. <laughs> yeah, buy makeshift binding. If they have a second one, good for them, right? What am I going to do? I may take, like, a million damage from this Granite Witness and cry, but, oh, this is probably better than playing the inside source, because it has Flying and Lifelink, and it can sign. Oh, that's totally okay. Wait, oh, it can sign to Oblivion. Wait, is this? Tch. <laughs> Well, suppose inside source is going to go this time. Start attacking. 
and then... I don't know, maybe that was dumb. Maybe I was supposed to just be like, oh, whatever. But now I can bind any Granite Witness, which is not amazing, but not terrible. Unless they have another Unscrupulous Agent, and then I'm going to cry. Uh, let's draw a card for... Ah, eh, there is a Counterspell that counters for two, so I think I'm just going to Binding... There is a counterspell that counters for two. Uh, sure. Put that on top. Then we could do this. They're gonna go to eight. I'm not going to draw yet, because I don't, if they have another Unscrupulous Agent, obviously. They would have played it, but... Uh, they now know the binding is coming. I'm at 11. I don't know, I have some regrets about not binding the Granite Witness earlier. Going to 8. I mean, if they have another, like, counterspell, it's unfortunate, but... Uh, what's going on here? What does this do? Uh, yeah, you're gonna collect evidence, sure. I will sacrifice my 3-2. Draw a card. And I'm gonna cast my card, because there's a counterspell for 2, but not for 3. And I'm gonna attack. I mean, I guess I'm gonna. I suppose I could find another novice inspector, and if I found another novice inspector, I'd want to do that, but I didn't. So we're gonna go to three, and I'm at eleven. If they just oblivion me, I win. So they're not gonna do that. Nice. Nice. One one game one on my opponent Mulligan. That's good. Not not a complete embarrassment to myself. A lot of looting going on there. Um, so that was uh, something. Some would say even too much looting, and they might be might have been right. In this set, I think you're like pretty much always supposed to loot. I have two collect evidence guys in my deck. I think I'm pretty much supposed to be looting like every time. I will keep this, although it does kind of suck. We have two drop into nothing, but... I mean, this is, like, kind of removal, and this is, like, kind of a late-game spell, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Okay, well, we just ripped, like, you know. It's almost the nuts. The nuts would have been Novice Inspector, but this is, like... <laughs> Alright, you're a turn late, little. You're a turn late, guy. I get I get You're a turn late. We understand. Yes, you're, you're, you're very special. You get to be... Oh, no. Oh, well, I'll just give it flying now, and then... I mean, there's no reason to give it flying, other than that, it, you know, it's nice, aesthetically, but... Opponent went Swamp Swamp Pass, that's... not inspiring. Oh, there's, this is about to be bad for them. This is about to be really bad. <laughs> it's about to not be good, because I can also just do this next turn. Surely there's not a Wrath that's going to get me. I'm down to just trade, and I'm never going to trade, but... I'm, like, more than down to trade my inside source for their Tunnel Tipster, which, again, they're not going to do. Yeah. I'm not going to play Fuss Bother. Uh, mostly because I can just draw a card or hold up Burden of Proof, both of which seem pretty good. There is the five mana Black Wrath. There's no denying that that card does exist, but if you pretend in your mind that it doesn't exist and it's not real, then it can't hurt you. That's that's how it works. Uh, that's that's just how they designed the game. It's very fortunate that they designed the game that way, because otherwise, you know, things bad things could happen, and that would be very unfortunate. Uh, let's see what they do here. So the tipster could become a 2-2. Two -two. How much do I care about that? Approximately zero. I mean, I would just, like, if they play a disguise creature, that is, like, I just win. I literally just win. So, 
Don't have to worry about that. I genuinely don't even think I'm going to use this. If you want to kill my 1-1, one -one, that's fine. <laughs> I don't even... I mean... Like, I was, I was saying, like, oh, well, I, could, I could use Burden to Proof if I need to, but they did something that was so mediocre, I still didn't feel like I needed to. So now they're going to use their real removal spell, potentially. That would make sense. Okay, or they're not. Just, they can, they're allowed to not have it. So how much damage is bother? It's three extra damage. I'm just gonna do, uh, well, I guess we'll see. Destroy target creature. All right, you've got it, boss. Uh, not really a reason to do that. Um, I think I want to just deduce here, because if I find like a three drop, I'm gonna want to play the three drop. I will draw a card. I'm gonna discard a card. I don't really feel like I need to hold up burden of proof. I really just don't like feel like that's necessary right now. Next turn I could just cast the backside of bother and then they're pretty dead. I can also play a tunnel tipster. Uh I suppose we're jamming. Three, four, five, six. This is lethal. If I go for it. I don't think they have anything. Hey, lethal, we did it. Detectives, drafting novice inspectors in your deck when your pod doesn't value them. We did it, we solved the format. <laughs> uh, day one, day one, what a fun time. See, this is what I meant. Like when I was wa I was out uh, walking today uh, before the before the format started up. Oh, it's a noted streamer. Um, I will keep this one. The old. Oh wait, this is this is a curve. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Inspector into inspector inspector. Inspector into inspector inspector is uh. It's not bad, huh? It's not bad. And then I can do this. Oh, please play a two drop. Can I please get a two drop? Can I please? Oh, yes. Oh. Now, I don't actually have anything to like. And then we flip this. I don't have a third land, but it's now solved. Oh, no. I have three one mana two twos in play. That also draw me cards eventually. Now, I am down on land, so I could definitely still lose this game, but you know. It's a good it's a good position to be in. It's not a bad spot to be. Oh, and they did they did indeed play the the morph. That is sort of what we were expecting. I think I'm just gonna play this first. Attack all I'm just gonna let this trade happen if they wanna make the trade. I don't think they're going to. Oh they are. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this happen. Then play my three drop. I will take a draw. I'll discard. Ah! I'm actually gonna discard another inspector. I think I want land four because of just the fact that it allows me to do burden of proof stuff next turn. So they've played a granite witness face down. I think that trade's probably fine for me. Hmm, another. Another face down card, interesting. Um, this time I'm gonna draw first, see if I find something. I did not find anything. I'm just gonna burden approve on my on my detective here. Put him to eight. I have a six four in play. They are going to find removal for this sometimes. I've, I now have, I have regrets about discarding my projector inspector, but... Turn face up, okay. Um, I think we play this and loot first because... I want to draw and discard, okay. 
discard this. And then if they block a six, if they block a two two, they die. So they have to block the six four. Yeah. And I'm going to pass. So they got some. They may have some big stuff coming for me. Guess we'll find out. It's not going to do it. Also not going to do it. I mean, it is going to do it in the sense that they're not dead, but. Oh, surveillance monitor. That's a good one. So that's three, and then you have to trade. Yeah, let's let's just let's just do this. Uh, four. Submit four for evidence. And then attack all. They have to make these blocks go to one. And then I'm going to end my turn. All right, let's see what do they got for me. That's pretty good, I suppose. That is pretty good. Doesn't necessarily solve all of their problems, but it is pretty good. All right. All right, opponent, I see you. I see what you got going on over there. Hmm. Well, I have to chump like forever. Um. So I think I'm just gonna attack with everything. So how do they block? They go, they can go double block and then chump, chump, that doesn't work. I think they're gonna go block like this, block like this, block like this, and then chump. Yeah, I think we're just gonna attack all. Cause this way they're not killing the surveillance monitor. They're just gonna chump it. And I think that's pretty dang good for me. I'm gonna play you. I don't. Oh, it's when it dies. Investigate. I forgot about that. All right. They found something. Let's see it. Face down. Oh, they can flip it face up. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I suppose I want to remove the ward creature, right? Because they can flip it face up and I don't know what it is. And it could be like pretty bad for me. I might just concede to this being on the stack. Yes. I want to auto pay. Mmm, granite witness, I see. Alright, well. Still just, just jumping away here. There's actually no point in me attacking with the novice inspector, but not really a point in not doing it either. All right, we got there. Just have to go like one drop into one drop, one drop. That's all you gotta do. That's, the format has been solved. Private Eye. I haven't even drawn the Private Eye yet. I haven't drawn our pack one, pick one. Still still doing well so far. But, uh, did you know, like, that's... That's the, that's the strat. What you gotta do is you draft your deck, and then you just never draw the first card that you draft. And then that's, that's a recipe for success. I am gonna keep this hand. It's pretty slow, but... I don't know, I have a lot of good draws draw any of my novice inspectors or anything else and again my deck can play a pretty good mid-range game uh i think i'm gonna play inside source on three it's kind of a good question yeah i don't think i don't think i'm supposed to mulligan this hand but oh we did it oh we did it we drew the two we drew a two drop now like i said it is you know likely somewhat that i have that so, because I haven't drawn my fourth land, I think I'm going to actually play this one. Yes. 
and then discard my second inspector, because generally you don't... Maybe I actually want to discard the phantom. I'm actually going to discard the phantom. I don't think the phantom does anything for me right now. Actually, that was maybe wrong, because I have Auspicious Arrival and I could have played the phantom. Man, they are just all in on tap lands for days over there. Dot com. We'll draw a card. Um, I think you can go now. It's you or Cold Case Cracker. Cold Case Cracker seems okay, though. I'm going to just pitch this guy. Keep pitching the castable cards. Yeah, I got to pitch the castables. Don't want to. Don't want to keep any castable spells. These projector inspectors have been really good with surveillance monitor, so that is something that did did bear out. Okay, I th think I want to just play surveillance monitor, or I could I just play this thing? Am I attacking? I don't know. I think I want to just play the cold case cracker actually, or I could just attack. Well, see, this is why I should have kept the other two drop and discarded the the something else. I'm just going to play Cold Case Cracker and attack with, like, just the Perimeter Enforcer. Uh, we'll draw a card. I will discard a card. Ah, uh, do I want to discard that card or do I want to discard Surveillance Monitor? I want to discard this card. Some are calling it the dumbest play they've ever seen. And they might be right, for the record. I want to be very clear that they may or may not be right. So they didn't do anything for four turns. Um, and they're still not completely dead, but... That is a snuffler, I suppose. So this doesn't do anything for me at the moment. Or does it? I mean, it kind of does, because I can just attack with everything. And then... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can attack with everything, and if they don't block, they're dead. And if they block, they're dead, so... This case is actually so good. My god. Now, I do have three of each of the two best white commons, so... I mean, or actually, no, I have four novice... Sorry, four novice inspectors. Sorry, that's... Sorry, four... Four Thraven inspectors. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, that's, um... Yeah, that's... It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, some some people are asking how, how I do it, and this... Really, the process is extremely complex. Uh, you draft a, four copies of the best card at common in the set, and then you, it's also a one drop, and so then you just win every game. That's, that's how it goes. That's, that's actually the way you, uh, you want to go about things. Oh. <laughs> what's it, what's it like to see, to see, like, just to, like, the feeling of having Novice Inspector on your hand on turn one on my hand. It's on my hand. Yeah, I know. I know. I misspoke, okay? I said the word wrong. What do you want from me? Do you want me to be perfect? Like, this card? This card is perfect. You want perfection? Also, they played a candlestick, by the way. What am I... What is happening here? Are they, are they deducing me? I see. That's what's going on here. Or maybe I'm getting counterspelled. That could be happening, too. That's not so bad. If they want to counter this, it's, like, not that bad for me. It's, like, pretty likely if they have it, they'll... Oh, no more lies. Okay. The Exile version. It's pretty unfortunate because I would have been able to inside source and then that would have been good, but... Also, it's very unfortunate they exiled. Makes me very sad. Okay. So we actually have a game on our hands here, although I can kill that with the case. Although it's pretty unlikely that it's going to not be flipped up this turn. Private Eye. Yeah, that one's, that one's probably going to go, huh? Oh, man. Oh, wait, I can still clue to do the thing. I think I'm just going to deal with the reality that potentially I lose. Hmm. So, I actually have a lot of options this turn. I could Binding, or I could go Case of the Gate. I think I'm just going to Case of the Gateway Express the Private Eye, and then just trade one of my 1-1s one to make my, to give me an anthem for the rest of the game. Yeah, I think I'm just going to trade one of my my one power creatures to make so make it so that I have bigger creatures for the rest of the game. I think that's probably pretty worth it. 
And also, now it also means that I might be able to turn on my surveillance monitor pretty soon. Which I think is relevant. Man, they are just... They're, pl they're playing some cards. This is this is what a week, like, three uh, of the format of this deck looks like. Don't tell me your attack. Oh, no. They really don't know what's going on if they're attacking me here. I think that is going to be a pretty regrettable decision. I guess they do have a decent block. I guess they do technically have a decent block. So... Do I just remove the face down creature, or do I go... I think I want to just go Market Watch Phantom Novice Inspector and then draw a card. I think I'm... Do I just attack... Do I only attack with uh, Novice Inspector? See if they bite? I think I kind of like that. Then I could play Surveillance Monitor Novice Inspector if they block. Yeah, that's probably better, huh? Well... Or I could just still do this, and then give it flying next turn. No, I want to have a 4-3 in a Novice Inspector. Yeah, I want to I have a 2-1 have, have flyer. Having a 2-1 flyer seems pretty good. I think I would rather just have more stuff on the board than not have more stuff on the board when it comes down to it. So the candlestick is on the face down card right now. So they can flip this up and put that in the graveyard. I'm pretty happy to just let this hit me. I'm winning the race, so and I have like this binding too. I feel pretty okay about just even just binding the three two. I even just yeah, binding the 3-2 and then attack all seems pretty good. And then jam with everything. Put him to 5 and play another 2-2. Two -two. Play a 3-2, which actually blocks even. Technically, I could have blocked, I believe, with a 3-2 because um, oh, that, that looks horrific. Uh, so they have to make a terrible, yeah. I think those are, I think they're just dead, but I was like, even if they're not dead, they have to make the worst block ever. Alright, well, we've, you know, <laughs> this is why we like to start the season off, you know, with this, when you haven't played in a while, you get the, get to feel good about your rank going up a lot, even though it's, you know, a little bit of a facade in the early days. Uh, this is going to be a lot of the early part of the format, by the way. You're going to be seeing a lot of, like, Hey, I went, you know, novice inspector, novice inspector, novice inspector. It's going to be, oh wow, this is a sicko curve out. <laughs> every game, every game with this with this with this deck is just like, oh, this is just the most sick curve out I've ever seen. Oh, th that was the most sick curve out you ever seen. Now what about this game? This game's got a sicko curve out. I did play this over the Mark Watch Phantom. And I think I want to play inside source over private eye. Because it's the same amount of damage up front, as long as they don't kill the Enforcer. Yeah, we're just going to play Inside Source. If they do kill the Enforcer, we live and we breathe, you know what I mean? There's no, like, deal to to everything. I don't think, it's actually not the same amount of damage, it's one less. My bad. Um... Okay, opponent is now at... I forgot how this one works. This one's not power two or less. This one's detectives. Well, now, see? Look, it was better against that card. Look at that. Playing around cards you didn't even think you were playing around. That's magic, baby. Now, the real question, the real crux of the, the, the problem is, how do I... Ah, I could do this and draw a card. I think I like that better... Private Eye, I mean, there's not a 3-mana counterspell necessarily, so I'm not really playing on anything, but I'm not... I can take this a little slower. I'm going to take it a little slower. I'm going to take this a little bit slow. Long goodbye. I mean, I'm just... I, I'm playing around these... Uh, 
these removal spells. Actually, I actually am. I know it may seem like I'm not actually doing that, but I am. So is now we're going to see a cold case cracker, and we're just going to draw a card here. Hmm. And what's 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 going on over there? I'm going to play this. It's probably going to get countered or something. Appears like that didn't happen. What you got? Another removal spell. Okay. Sure. At some point, they're gonna impact the board, I would have to imagine. So this gains plus one damage. I don't think that's worth me potentially getting blown out. Oh my god. Okay, well, or I can just get blown out anyway. Uh, I'm going to hold this land for reasons. They were definitely supposed to figure out a way to cast that earlier. I'm... I'm I mean... <laughs> attack. You have another one somehow? It'd be pretty impressive if you had another one. And I'm gonna draw now because I could find something. That is something, I suppose. I kind of like... Do I need to do that now, though? I guess it does threaten lethal, technically. There isn't really, like, wraths and I mean, there is a wrath in blue and black, I guess, but... I don't know. Playing around, like, one wrath doesn't seem super prudent. I know we are 5-0, and oh, but... They found they had the wrath. Dang. <laughs> they did actually have it. Opponent did, in fact, actually have the wrath, so that's pretty bad for us. But we're still not in, like, the worst spot ever. Mountain. Now we're in a pretty bad spot. Ah, dang. I could have kept the 2-2. Two -two. I thought about it, and I, sh I was like, ah, do they? I was like, eh, it kind of felt like they had the Wrath, but then I was like, I don't know. I still think it was pretty not great. I'm just going to chill. I don't need to do anything right now. So they just went, like, bunch of removal plus Wrath. Yeah, I mean, it happens. I can live with that. They're just going to draw now, I would guess. They are not going to do that. I'm going to play Makeshift Binding. I'm trying to find a removal spell. Or not a removal spell, a uh, counter spell, presumably. Or sacrifice outlet. Play another one of these. So they have another removal spell. That's unfortunate, but only so much you can do in life. I did play the land because of counter spell, like for two reasons. Lazav, okay. Annoying. Okay, punished. Very punished. But we live, we live with that. We live with the guilt, you know what I mean? We live with the, the guilt of losing that. I mean, honestly, I mean, it would have been, actually would have been really nice to have that. I'm not going to deny it. Uh, what are the odds they have a removal spell? What are the odds of putting that? I'm just going to play another inside source. I think I'm going to just play this instead of attacking... So you can, eg they can exile something, and then it becomes a copy of something else. So I have to think about that when I block. It can become, the best, the biggest thing it can become, though, is like a 3-3. Three, three. So it doesn't actually change the math at all. Dramatic Accusation. That's that one. Why not the... 
guess it makes sense. Man, really getting punished for uh, throwing away that land, huh? I suppose I want to attack. I don't have lethal. Let's let's do the attack first. Um, I'm thrilled to like trade one of these off. gonna jump. Sure. Oh, they have the... Oh, no, dude. Uber punished. That's actually the worst. I can't believe... I can't believe they're playing that card. Wow. Alright, I mean, this is what you get when you play in gold. You, your opponents are gonna have cards you don't expect. That's that's unfortunate that I didn't play the guy pre-combat to play around that. Not honestly, I don't think this card's, like, that bad. I'm just gonna block, boss. At some point, oh man. I guess now I'm gonna do it on you. line up the block here. So I have 18 cards left in my deck. I have drawn one, two, three. How many lands do I have left? A decent amount of lands. It's unfortunate. They are at six. I mean, they do probably presumably have like anything at all. Surveil one's pretty bad for me. Yeah, pretty bad for me. They could shuffle the inside source into my deck whenever they want. They don't want to do that, it seems, but... That seems bad. That seems like it's going to kill me. I mean, the poison counters I don't think matter here, but... Them drawing a card and making a 5-6 is pretty awful. Yeah. We're, uh, we're dead. They have seen more cards than me somehow, just by me playing like four novice inspectors this game. Really, the issue was that I ran into a wrath, and I shouldn't have. I probably would. I would have won this game if I had just not played the two-two. Actually, I also would probably have won this game if I had just played my three-two. Oh, this investigates. Okay. All right. I guess I'm getting destroyed by persuasive investigators plus uh, curious inquiry. This is just not. Ah. <sighs> Sometimes, sometimes you flood out, you know what I mean? Sometimes you flood out, and it's partially your fault and partially not your fault. Have to take, you have, do have to take some responsibility. I don't know why they're not attacking with the interrogators, to be honest with you. There's basically nothing I can have that wants them to... I mean, I guess they are burning me out with the clue tokens, but I don't think that matters. Really unfortunate. I cut, see, I hate. Should have just played around the wrath. I knew the wrath existed, but I was just like, eh, does it really make sense, like, on day one to be playing around the wrath in gold? Like, I don't know. Why did they leave up four black mana? Good question. I found a deduce. That's actually, like, probably my best draw. Um, I'm going to draw another one here. See if I can't find anything at all. That, I suppose, is anything at all. And I'm going to play Cold Case Cracker. I don't know if this is the right one to be playing, because it pretty likely isn't going to do what I want, but... It does put a two-turn clock on them, technically. If they don't kill it, they are just going to kill it, though. Yeah. I think that means I'm dead. Not dead, but I'm not really alive either. Because they just hit me for a billion and then. I got some good ones and some bad ones in here. Those are best of three. I would actually feel pretty good about my chances in this matchup. But, uh, it's not. 
What is this? There's like five zones over here. What? Oh, that's like an evidence thing? I'm very confused. I'm just going to die to this persuasive in, uh, interrogators. If they ever make another clue, which they did. That they did make. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. They would have they would have just killed me by attacking with it also would have worked, but did did get there. Sours the mood a bit. Could have played around the wrath, didn't play around the wrath. I mean, the problem the problem with playing around the wrath though is that I was setting up lethal on board um, by not playing around it. And I think that's probably, in a lot of cases, better. Uh, ooh, wow, this is a tough one. I'm going to keep it, though. I have a 2-drop into Auspicious Arrival. The 2-drop has Lifelink. Like, I don't know. A lot of, a lot of ways this can go well. You know, the, f the first five games are so smooth. You know, now we got to just throw in some uh, some less smooth ones, you know. Okay, not the best, but, uh... I mean, if they do find removal here, it's going to be pretty bad for me. If they don't, I'm in a pretty good spot. Okay, I'm, oh, they have a surveil land. Why? I guess they must have just drawn it. Must have just drawn it. Right, well, we're just going to... Oh, they have shock? Oh, they don't have shock, thank God. <laughs> I was say, if they had shock, they were supposed to have used it last turn. The reason I did that is uh, I need to just cycle that, because otherwise I'm just going to die. Do I care about this thing? Not more than finding my, like, land drop and also a blue source. Or that. Not more than finding a land drop would be my my assertion. Can't collect evidence three, so I'm just gonna take it. Perimeter enforcer gaining me that life really gonna help out here. Do need to get the blue source. Right, I'm probably just gonna remove that. Yeah, I don't really have much other options. Why are they attacking with this? I guess I can make their thing a 1-1, one, one, huh? It's pretty good if they block. Let's play this first, though. If they don't block, I'll just play the Projector Inspector. They can collect evidence now. I'm not that worried about it. The mole has been put into the graveyard. Because to collect evidence, they have to attack me, which is pretty bad for them, I would say. I collect some evidence, make a 3-4, uh, sure. I'm pretty likely just going to play Private Eye. Wow, that's um, a buzz crusher. Opponents really got the uh, the stuff going on over there. They had to fix their own mana. Okay. Why did they do that? If I 
play this. You get two triggers next turn. Just play surveillance monitor. Collect some evidence. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So the buzz crusher is mostly gonna be on blocks here. Not in a great spot, man. I just needed them not to have, like... Do I really care about that? No, not really. Just to find a removal spell or, or something. Or something, I suppose. This is pretty good with the other one, huh? I think I'm just gonna play Private Eye. They block, that's great for me, and if they don't, that's also great for me. Um. I'm gonna draw now, because I wanna find my lands. Oh. <laughs> Forgot about that ability. That was an ability that I wanted to remember about. I didn't remember that ability, but now I know about it. <laughs> well, that would have been nice to remember, because I would have had lethal next turn. But, uh, here we are. Nonetheless, here we are. Yeah, I should have I should have done that and then just cracked the clue on the perimeter enforcer and put him to the four and then we just have lethal set up, but I mean they're gonna kill the private eye anyway. It looks like. Maybe. Yeah, I would be in a much better spot if I just remembered that that line of text existed. percent sure about this? I guess we'll find out if they're 100% sure. Oh man, I have to know all the stuff. Oh no, they just double worded. Hmm. I think I'm gonna play Whatever detective, right? I'm gonna make it non blockable. Hold on, let's do this. Question is, what do I want to make unblockable? We'll draw a card. Discard an inside source. I think. inside source. I'm gonna actually decline on this one. And then attack with this guy. Put him to three. See, they would be dead right now. But I'm still at 21, and they do have two face down cards, but now they basically have to figure out something. Okay, they're just off it. Very reasonable. Very reasonable to be off it. That game that game could have gone could have been played better than denying that. And there really is no denying it. Um, but uh never punished as they say. Cruising along. Start of the format. Getting back into it. All that good stuff. I mean, if I can just draft, like, decks that look like this all the time, <laughs> I'll be feeling, be feeling great. 
to be honest with you. And how how did how do I do it? How do I draw a novice inspector in my opening hand every game? Oh, it's because I have four of them in my deck. That's how. I was wondering how I did that. This is interesting. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I think I'm just going to play Deduce. For several reasons. One of them is that it represents a counterspell, although I think we're probably a little too early in the format for that to be like a thing that matters. Puts a card in my graveyard for Surveillance Monitor, which I think is pretty important, and I think that it's, it spends my mana most efficiently, too. Guy is not a problem. Gonna Surveil one. That's pretty good. It's not bad to Surveil one. I think I'm not attacking. Let's reach into the bin. Sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna play novice inspector and pass. I think. I have three clues. It's time to start like using them. I also have auspicious arrival, which I would like love to cast. Because. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna double block like this. And then they're gonna get blown out a bit here. And then I get to do the thing that I wanted to do, which is nice. Nice to get the thing not nice to get to do the things that you want in life, you know what I mean? Nice to do the things that you want in life. I could even have attacked first, though. They're never blocking, but... I could even have attacked first. They're just gonna kill the surveillance monitor? I don't mind that. Alright, that thing's pretty annoying. Hmm... I think I wanna draw a card. And play inside source primarily because I don't really need to loot right now and I want the ability on the board so I can start activating it this is pretty annoying though right yeah they're just gonna start draining me like that's kind of a problem that however is not that big of a deal. Oh, no, no. does it get lifelink no it just gets death touch oh we're taxing Oh, I'm at 11. Oh, but that is going to cause them a lot of problems, I think. So I attack all. They go... 18. I'm taking 6. Yeah, I'm just going to jam all. Maybe they block the 2-2, I don't know. It's not even like that bad if they do. Block the 1-1. One, one. They're gonna go to 8, and I'm gonna play this guy. I'm mill 1, oh well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Hate to see it. I could have opted to just play the one ones and go for a longer game. I just feel like the Wisp Drinker Vampire was probably gonna be better in that environment, and they're like putting pressure on me. I don't know. Maybe that was stupid, and I'm like gonna just die as a result. But now I'm like, I don't know. They, they don't. I mean, the longer the game goes, the more, the closer the Wisp Drinker Vampire gets to activating its ability. And if the act the ability ever gets activated, I just lose. I think so. Opponent being at 8 is good for me. Those were kind of weird blocks, by the way. I didn't really understand those blocks. The block on the 1-1 one, one worked out. They probably should have just blocked... I don't I don't know. It's kind of unclear what they are playing around. I mean, honestly, it's it's day 1. Like, you're not going to be playing around. It's like, I, like, my most natural blocks probably would have been, like, block the 2-2 two, two and block... Uh, something else. So they're going to make me sack my 4-4. Four, four. I can live with that.
So now they're going to drain me, which is pretty bad, but can't hit me for two. The thing is, I have, like, not terrible attacks. I guess they're pretty kind of bad. So I'm going to go to seven. Let's draw a card. Let's draw another card. Pretty good. I'm gonna draw a card. Um, definitely attack with this. I think both the novice inspectors can get in, and then this. The dual each. So they go block, block, take two, four, six. They actually have to double block, right? So if they block this and. Let's say they block this and then this. So they have to block both things, yeah. They have to block two things. Three, six. I guess they could technically block a two, two. No, I'm just going to attack all. I think they have to block enough stuff that I'm happy with this. They eat my three. Like, I'm basically trying, like, this prevents them from being able to flip over their disguise creature, which I think is pretty good for me. I have a blocker still. Two blockers, even. I could lose, for sure. Like, I'm taking an additional three. And then they just need to deal four somehow. Need to find a way to deal four damage. Let's see how, let's see what the uh, disguise creature was. It was a defenestrated phantom. Well, look at that, look at that. Was gonna be dead if I let them attack me. Was gonna be dead if I didn't make that attack. Glad I made that attack. All right, look at that trophy. Look at that good play rewarded. Um, milling the pack one, pick one rewarded. Uh, always good. Uh, yeah, so it, it turns out I know people. I don't. Uh, this is just a blowing everybody's mind. If you draft four copies of Thraben Inspector in your limited deck, you're gonna do pretty well. You're gonna do pretty well. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, I think this is probably likely to be the best deck I draft in the entire format, so... That's, uh, that, we've, we've set the bar very high, and I think it's only gonna go, go downhill, but... Thanks for sticking around, and if you enjoyed, uh, I'll be posting more of these, so... See ya.